I open the guy up to do the autopsy and there's a miniature cuckoo clock where his heart should be, still ticking. As I go take it out, it goes off, but instead of a bird popping out, it's a little garden gnome. It jumps out of the clock, flips me off, and then runs out the door. I'm an operational psychologist, so I don't really do much dream analysis. Oh. But if I were to hazard a guess, I'd say the clock obviously represents time, his life, albeit with a whimsical quality, autopsy, death, and yet there's a magical creature that lives on inside him and is set free by your actions. Like I helped release his soul? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, then why did he flip me off? Gnomes. Notoriously cranky. So no one's come forward to claim our friend here. Two nine millimeter slugs to the chest from about 15 feet away, turned his heart into hamburger. The shooter double tapped him just left of center, knew the anatomy of a kill shot, so that's a professional. Same gun killed both drug dealers? There was only one drug dealer? There were two victims. You mean the cop? We were told two suspected drug dealers were killed. And the other victim was an LAPD officer. Shot once in the head, but the bullet fragmented too much to make a match. Or wasn't that in the report? He was so deep undercover, his own department didn't even know he was involved until today. Those guys are cowboys. Another type. 